Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Chase and Zelly, and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently, and that is how do you change the phone number to your Zelly account inside the Chase app? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna change your phone number attached to your Zelly account in the Chase app? Well, that's pretty easy. As you know, if you have a Chase account, you don't actually use the Zelly app. It's all handled in the Chase app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Chase app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Chase app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to change the phone number that's attached to your Zelly account in the Chase app, you wanna click on this button right here called pay and transfer. It has a dollar sign next to it. Okay, once you click there, you're gonna see a few different options about your Chase account, but in order to change the phone number attached to Zelly in your Chase app, click on this line right here called settings. Once you click there, you're going to see these two options, but you want to choose Zelly settings. Okay, guys, once you click there, you will see more information about your Zelly settings. And the weird thing about Zelly inside the Chase app is there's no way to delete this phone number that's attached to your Zelly account. And also when you click on this blue add button, all it does is gives me the option to attach an email address because you can only have one mobile number attached to your Zelly account inside the Chase app. So this is kind of a weird process, but what you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and cancel out there, and then you need to click on this button here called Deactivate Zelly. Okay, once you click there, this is the workaround. You need to deactivate the Zelly account, but don't worry, this is a really quick process. You'll get it set up at the same time. But before you do this, just know that when you click this Deactivate It, it's gonna cancel any kind of pending request for money that you've sent out, and you will also retain your activity on Zelly for the past 13 months. That's not gonna be deleted. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate Zelly and then we're going to reactivate it with a new phone number. So I'm going to click on deactivate it. Okay, next it lets me know I have deactivated Zelly inside my Chase app so I can no longer receive payments to my phone number from Zelly and I'm gonna click on done. Okay, so it brings me back here to the pay and transfer screen. Now to quickly and easily set up Zelly again on the Chase app, all you do is click on this button here, send money with Zelly. Once you do that, you're basically setting up Zelly again inside of your Chase app. So you do need to agree to the service agreement and privacy notice by clicking here and then clicking next. Okay, so here you get to choose which account you're setting Zelly up. I only have one checking account, so I'm going to leave it at that. It also lets you know what your name is going to appear in your Zelly recipient. Now here's where you can choose a phone number that you would like to use in Zelly. So I have this number, but if you want to add a different number like I do, you just click on this blue add email or phone number. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and add a new mobile number. So I'm going to click here. Next, Zelly on Chase lets me know and they need to send a text message to my mobile number in order to set up Zelly on the Chase app. Just note that I have tried to do this with online or VPN numbers. However, this only works with my AT&T phone, so it needs to be a carrier phone. It can't be like a Skype number or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the new phone number that I would like to attach to my Zelly account. Okay, so I went ahead and installed that number. I'm gonna click on done right here, and I'm gonna click on next. Okay, just a quick second later, Zelly on Chase did send me a text message code to verify that I have access to that cell phone number. So I'm gonna enter this code in here. Okay, enter the code in, I'm gonna click on next. Okay, next I get this confirmation screen letting me know that I have set up my new phone number on Zelly through the Chase app. It's listed right here. and also lets me know which account that's going to be connected to. And let me click on done. And then it just brings me back here to the pay and transfer screen on Zelly inside of the Chase app. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to change or update your phone number for your Zelly account inside the Chase app, that's kind of a weird process since you have to deactivate it, but that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.